everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Cosmina and I'm making beauty videos and in today's video we're just gonna talk about my empties I have uh, been keeping some of the bottles that I finished well at least some of that I was able to remember and let's just uh, call it uh, my summer because uh, we just got out of summer right now so wh whatever I used in summer and if I'm gonna purchase it again or if I did purchase it again or not so first things first I want to let you know and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you're new here I would really appreciate that I'm a new youtuber and I will take uh, all the support that I can get and I really appreciate that and thank you so much if you already subscribed and you're here watching my videos okay so now let's get into my empty so first things first, I want to start with Mario Badescu skincare. I am absolutely in love with his facial sprays and I have here one of the facial spray with aloe, sage and orange blossom from Mario Badescu. This is just gorgeous. I absolutely adore this and yes, I already stock up on this and uh, also i got another one uh, since then actually finished two three and then now i'm like almost half of this one this one is with aloe herbs and rose water i said it in my videos before i love to apply this on my bare skin um, and usually I apply this once in the morning and once at night after I take my makeup off. So this made you made you go. <laughs> um, this one is the Cucumber Cleansing Lotion, the next one from Mario Badescu. I really like this thing. I'm not, I'm not, um, in love with it, but I do like it. It keeps my skin refreshed. And I did enjoy using it. I do have another a little bit in this one. So when I bought them, I bought them together. And I still have a little bit in this one. And I still do enjoy it. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase and purchase it again. Because I have to be honest, I have had better toners. But this one is not a bad one. It's just not exactly what i'm looking for and i have had better and i'm thinking to get back to one of the toners that i used before um if we're talking about toners another one that i used it was this one for alba botanica acne dot maximum strength deep cleaning deep clean estrogen oil free and it promised to reduce um breakouts in eight hours it has two percent salicylic acid acne medication formulated willow bark extract no parabens or synthetic fragrances 100 percent vegetarian ingredients so this is really beautiful it promises to do a lot of things it's just a little bit drying though it's just a little bit drying so i I like this, but not as a daily toner. I like this only when I have some breakouts going on. It does help with that. It helps a lot with that overnight, especially if you put it at night before you go to sleep and you add this on, it's definitely gonna look much better in the morning. But I'm not gonna repurchase this one though, because I feel, like I said, I feel like I had better and I uh, feel like I can find better things. Now let's go to foundations because foundations, yes, I have a bunch of them and foundations are always going to be, I always use a lot of foundations. So these foundations, let's talk about them, okay, because man oh man <laughs> there's a lot to talk about it um these tart found sealer multitasking foundation with broad spectrum spf 20 sunscreen i had it in the shade 35g medium golden love this foundation 
don't get me wrong it's really beautiful really uh full coverage absolutely gorgeous finish it's just too little and they need you need a lot and it just it i don't know it just goes by so fast i swear i had this for only like three weeks and it was gone and this costs a lot of money a lot of money i cannot pay 38 dollars every three weeks that's insane you know what i mean so this is this is a beautiful foundation but maybe for somebody that has that amount of money and that wants to spend that amount of money every three weeks because for me i definitely need a full coverage so if i need that i'm gonna apply more products to get it to the when I feel comfortable so to get the to get a coverage that I feel comfortable with and uh, yeah this is beautiful but no and it's not long lasting either I gotta say like mm, in my six seven hours it's starting oxidating and it's starting to to uh, disappear around my nose around my my mouth uh my chin it's just it's not as long lasting as i wanted so this one i would not repurchase this one sorry card another foundation that i tried is this pure four in one love your selfie long wear foundation and concealer i had this in the shade tn3 i love 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 this foundation absolutely gorgeous finish it's really beautiful coverage a hundred percent it's exactly what i want but it's not long lasting it is not long lasting so i tried everything i tried primers i tried i tried to set my skin i tried everything like that but this is not i would say it's like a five hour foundation and you'll be like what it says 24 hours it says 24 hours but it's just a five hour foundation it, it is i love the finish and i love all that but and it, it hurts man it hurts not repurchasing this because i love it it's one of my favorite foundations but it is way too expensive to not perform to the to the to to not perform the way it should perform and the way it's written on it the, the what is promised on it so because of that i'm sorry it's not going to be repurchased foundation i have this nyx total control drop foundation this is in the color beige tcdf 11 i love this thing um it's just not it used to be one of my favorites but i have had better i don't think i'm gonna repurchase this um it's just it's okay it's not the greatest it's okay if you just wanted like um really simple liquidy foundation i like something a little bit more coverage and i feel because of the the way it is it's just not staying put is moving a lot during the day so it's not staying as put as i want to i wanted to so i won't repurchase this one either this one is l'oreal paris infallible 24 hour fresh water is the shade 455 I like this one, but I I like it to, to a point. I'm not always reaching out to for this one. Sometimes when I don't need as big of a full coverage, I go and for, uh, and reach for this one when I just want something more liquidy and really fast and all that jazz. But it's not something that I go for every day, so I kind of want to have another option in that routine but i did purchase this one um and i still have just a little bit more from it this one is gonna be um over soon but i'm not probably i'm not gonna repurchase once this one is done 
Uh, let's talk about Lush because I went and bought a bunch of things from Lush. I wanted to uh, try their products because I believe in their and what they're fighting for. And um, it's just some products are really good, some products are really bad. And some of the really bad one is the shaving cream. I tried this twice. It's still pretty much full. Um, and is not, it's just, it's not. I tried it on my legs and it was horrible. Horrible. Um, I just, I don't, I don't even know why is it called the shaving cream. Because this one makes everything worse for shaving. It doesn't allow the um, razor to travel on your leg at all. It's just, it's, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, I would not recommend this one whatsoever. Maybe it works after you finish shaving, but then why is it called a shaving cream? I don't understand it. But I don't like it. So that this one, not my favorite. I'm sorry, Lush, but that's that's not it. Uh, another thing that I got from Lush is American Cream Shower Gel. This one, it pains to say, but I had better, and it cost me way less. Like this one, I think it was like twenty dollars. This bottle, that's a lot of money. And I would pay for that if the product would be as great as they describe it to be. No, not. It's, this actually had a little bit of a drying effect on me, which is weird. You know what I mean? It's not, it is not what it should be. It is not. It didn't make my skin soft at all, actually. It made it a little bit dry. So for me, this one, I will not purchase this one. I also got the shampoo um, from them. And the shampoo I also did not like. But we're going to talk about that next when I'm going to finish it. Because I'm still trying to go through it. And also have another shampoo as well in the same time. Uh, but one thing that I really, really, really love from them is their scrubbers. Oh my god. It makes your skin so soft. It makes your skin so good. It just goes everywhere and it's really beautiful and it smells divine. So for that reason, that thing, it's always, I'm always, always, always going to re, re repurchase that one. It is so good. So good. And also the hair conditioner as well with no packaging. I love that one too. It's really good, really beautiful. And I love that too. So those two are good. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is this Maui Detoxifying Volcanic Ash Skull Care Mask for Dull Congested Hair. This didn't help. Didn't help at all. Unfortunately, um, for a while now, my scalp is really, really dry and I am trying any product that I can to fix that problem and I was hoping this mask is going to be it. It's going to be the magic product that is going to help me. It wasn't. It doesn't do much at all, actually. And it says it's, it's made with 100% juice, aloe juice as first ingredient. Maybe, but it did not work for me. Unfortunately, it did not. I wish it did, but no. Now, another note, Dermablend Professional Loose Setting Powder. I had that in, this in a mini. I absolutely love this. Uh, it's one of the best powders that I ever tried. Best loose powder that I ever tried. I absolutely love this and i purchased it not quite the same thing but i did repurchase from derma blend and is the one is the banana one that is really pretty there you go i got it a full size i love this but i feel like this one was even better actually i think it's even better than than um 
Becca Hydro Mist for me at least dermal blend so I'm gonna repurchase this for sure well, later a good thing from uh, Lush that I really enjoy it's not it's not oh, I haven't finished it yet but this is the bubblegum lip scrub oh my god it smells divine mm, I love this I just love 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 this but this is gonna take me a while to finish it for sure um but I little I really enjoyed this one. another thing that I finished is a um, Jeffree Star concealer the in the shade C18 um I like it I enjoy this one I just don't feel like it is the best out there how it's being claimed it's not one of the best out there uh, I still prefer Tarte a little bit more and also instant age rewind now it's one of my go-to uh, concealers and I just tried the benefit one um, the benefit uh, cakeless concealer which is really good as well so I don't know they're 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 coming out with some other stuff for concealers so I don't know if uh, if uh, that's that's something that I want to repurchase I don't think I want to so that is all for today thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time with another one. Goodbye.